Hi, and welcome to this video where we're going to take you through the top five big improvements coming out for LMN this December 2015. We've been hard at work all fall and summer working on a bunch of brand new things, many of them driven by user suggestions to help make your LMN experience faster, more efficient, and more robust. It's going to do a lot more in a lot less time. Let's start with the brand new interface. We've totally overhauled the visual interface of LMN to make it not only faster and more efficient, but also easier to use. There will be a change here as you'll get used to the brand new look and you'll also have to get used to the menu on the left hand side. But once you get used to it, you're going to love it. Searching is way faster. Sorting is way faster. And you're going to find a whole bunch of other tools that'll make it far more easier to use both on a desktop device, but also on a mobile device like a tablet. Next, we're going to launch our brand new CRM. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management Software. Up till now, LMN had always been able to do estimating, but not really like a customer database. Until now, that is. With the new launch of LMN, we've now got a Clients and Leads tool, which means you can enter client or lead information before you ever need an estimate. Here you can come and enter their name, which salesperson they're assigned to, where they heard of you from, and you can add your leads to what we call tags. They're lists of clients so that you can quickly pull a list like show me all my residential maintenance prospects. Next, you can assign one or multiple contacts to leads and each contact can have email and phone information to make it easier and faster to find people's names and numbers to contact. Leads can have job sites, one or more, so you can track different names and addresses of the job sites they have. And estimates are all here for this lead on one handy screen, as well as being able to make a new estimate right from the lead screen. We've also got a brand new communication history tool, which will allow you to enter important phone calls, emails, or notes about the client so that anyone looking at the client's record can see what's been happening. And finally, we can make to-dos for the client, so you can assign specific tasks like follow up with an estimate or conduct a site visit, write to a lead or client, and then assign it to a specific person in your company with a due date and a progress status. The budgeting software has had a bunch of new improvements as well as we've given it a facelift and injected a lot more business intelligence. Here you'll see the budgeting screen looks similar but different. And inside we've baked a whole bunch of improvements. Like in the field labor budget, you can now enter overtime hours and even put in a number of staff to make it faster to enter companies with large groups of staff. In the equipment budget, We've built in the trailer calculators right into the software so that you don't have to go to a spreadsheet and make extra calculations to calculate trailer costs. But probably most importantly, we've improved the analysis tab. Now this analysis tab is brand new and what it'll do is crunch your numbers against industry averages and make some suggestions for you. If your labor looks high or your materials look high or your overhead looks low, you're gonna get a warning and you're gonna get some questions that may help you correct potential problems. You'll also see that we're now tracking key numbers like revenue per man hour so that you can compare what your budget says you need to do versus what your estimates are actually doing. The estimating software has had an overhaul as well as we put in again more suggestions and more ease of use features. Here in the estimating software you can see now estimates tie back to a specific lead or client in your CRM database. That'll make it a lot less time entering addresses and client names and will also reduce the cases of where clients get entered once, twice, or three times under different names and different addresses. Now you'll keep it all straight with one singular client record that you can make estimates for. You can also now assign estimates to specific salespeople and estimators for reporting on closing rates. You can make a confidence level to let us know how confident you are of gaining this estimate, which will help us project sales pipeline. Now the work areas or the pricing part is in a different location but works just like it always has. Previously we are used to scroll down to your get to pricing. Now you just click the work areas tab. And inside here you can see summary information across the top and work areas that work just like they have in the past. What you will notice however is they work a lot better on mobile devices as instead of pop up windows we have now replaced adding items with fly in screens to make it just like you did before but a lot easier and better. So before we had to enter notes for the client in hard to find sections, it's now very easy to go to client notes and enter the notes that you want to appear on the customer proposal. And same with the crew notes. They're right here as well, making it easy to find and change on the fly. And finally, we've introduced some new analysis tools. 
Now you'll have many new analysis metrics to compare what your estimate is doing versus what your budget says your company needs to do to hit your profit targets. And the fifth biggest improvement comes to metrics and dashboards, where you're going to see a whole lot more information in easy to find places. The estimate dashboard has all kinds of information like how much you're estimating by division, how much in estimates you've put out in the last six months, what your average revenue per hour is, won and lost on bids. The home screen dashboard will show you lots of information about estimates by month, by year, and overdue to-dos that you got to look out for. And on the CRM dashboard, you'll get information about your leads, about estimates, what your best referral sources are, and popular tags that are being assigned to clients. And maybe even better than all that, we've got lots of other big improvements as well. Element estimating now includes element time, so that all your crews can go paperless with their time tracking and job management. Not only is LMN Time built for payroll, it's built for job tracking, so you can see live, estimated versus actual hours, and your crews can too. Everybody will always know the score on all your jobs, which will help improve job on time performance. And LMN will also now include your QuickBooks Sync, so that you can instantly push estimates and timesheets directly to QuickBooks desktop versions. Now we've tried to help you make it as simple as possible to get adjusted to the new changes, but we know some people will be looking for stuff they couldn't find before. So there's lots of places to get help. Number one, don't forget live chat. You're always one click away from a support representative during normal working hours. If you can't get us on live chat, you can reach us by phone or by email at support at goelemn.com. You've also got www.learnelemn.com, which has a host of videos and resources to help you get the most out of LMN. And don't forget to check our online website for calendars of our workshops and boot camps. GoLMN.com slash workshops will include a complete list of all the workshops we're doing in a whole variety of cities from January to March this spring. And our boot camps are a really popular new thing we added last year. You can come to our office. They're free. And for a day, you can sit with us and ask any question you'd like about how to use LMN. Just get yourself there and we'll take care of the rest. We look forward to hearing from all of you in 2016. But most of all, we hope LMN becomes a critical part of helping your business make more profit and make your work more enjoyable in 2016. We'll see you then.